Hello, my name is Jonathan Vasquez, and this is my presentation. Racial profiling is the practice of subjecting citizens to increased surveillance or scrutiny based on racial or ethnic factors rather than reasonable suspicion. What I quickly found in my research is that many officers saw racial profiling as integral to their police work, and that most of the time they had no idea they were doing such a thing. The ethical implications of racial profiling lie within the intention of the officer. I'll begin by explaining why an officer may choose to use this method. Arguments for selective enforcement reside within the functionalist framework. Selective enforcement of high crime neighborhoods is based on legal factors such as high crime rates, not racial biases. A frequently used argument is its statistical backing. Deputy Chief Jeffrey Israel of the Oakland PD gave this comment regarding his department in the year 2011. Another argument for profiling is that an officer can use a suspect's skin color not to serve as a predictor of criminality, but as an identifying physical attribute that can be used to determine falsehood. Those who support racial profiling tend to look at the larger picture of things. Imposing questionable policing methods on the minority for the majority benefit is a win in the utilitarian book. Now I will highlight some arguments as to why not to use racial profiling. Racial profiling can create a real risk of injury or death for minorities. It sends a message that minorities are so dangerous that normal standards of police procedures simply don't apply. And the interesting thing with this argument is that you don't need to believe that police are necessarily racist in order to worry that profiling creates a serious risk or injury for both the police and the racial minorities that they're profiling against. Another argument is that racial profiling causes officers to go into situations more fearful and more prone to act with force. They suppose that they're facing people who are particularly prone to violence, and when they enter the situation, they enter with the presupposition that the people in minority are the perpetrators rather than the victims of the crime. If, if officers are allowed to racially profile, this gives them a sense of power and can possibly invoke them into making decisions for themselves. Ethical egoism is a stance that holds that we should act on the basis of our self-interest. This means that the profiler or police officer will do what's best for him, regardless of how it affects the one being profiled. Lieutenant Commander Paul McDuck of the Pleasant Prairie Police Department in Wisconsin explained how officers need to find a way to balance confidence and ego in order to keep that ego in check when they're in the field. So what does this mean for us? Now we as ethically sound young adults need to be aware of the problems that can come from racial profiling. The deterioration that this is causing to some communities should go against any ethical belief we have. Now I believe the change must start in us. In order to stop this racial profiling, we must start small and view diversity through a different lens in every situation we go into. By simply toning down racial stereotypes in news and media, we can definitely start to push in the better direction than we're going in right now. So, how you know? My name is Jonathan Vasquez, and thank you for listening to my presentation.